Are you interested in how fireworks made their way to America? Well, boom, baby. You have blasted into just the, the, the right banger of a video. And other puns, too. Story time with Schwankles. Uncle Schwankles. Okay, guys, today we are focusing on the real life Uncle Sam and how he brought what his role was in bringing the first fireworks to America. Look, guys, it is a well documented fact that the real life Uncle Sam was actually just George Washington's uncle. George Washington's Uncle Sam. On the note of uncles, my name is Uncle Swankles. And I am a master historical historian of America. And now if you love history and America as much as I do, leave a like. Or leave a like just because. Now guys, we're going back back to fireworks. Uh, I'm sure as most of you know, the original fireworks were actually actually originated in China. Yeah, and they were basically just hollow bamboo shoots filled with gunpowder. Now here is the million dollar question. How and why did fireworks make their way to America for our 4th of July? the 4th of July celebrations. And that's probably not a million dollar question. It's it's just a question that that I found interesting that I looked at, that I'm going to answer here. Why did fireworks end up in America? Short answer, here's the an short short answer to the question. Here's the answer. George Washington just loved Asian people. Let me explain. George Washington actually had an obsession with Asian women. Now, at the at the time just before the 4th of July, George Washington had just gone through several blind dates with a couple of Asian ladies, and every single one of his blind dates just didn't go well. His, his blind dates went wrong, essentially. Now, before the blind dates, all these Asian women knew who George Washington was. They knew who he was, because they had seen his picture on the dollar bill. They thought that he looked mad handsome, but here's the deal. When they saw George Washington in person and he opened his mouth and he started talking, they got to see those horrifying wooden teeth that he had and these women were disgusted and, and just went running, essentially. And George Washington had gotten to the point where he was just devastated and he was thinking about quitting blind dates with Asian women forever. Now, George Washington's Uncle Sam actually lived with George Washington. He lived in the same house. So, Uncle Sam was able to see what a rough time George Washington was going through. So, Uncle Sam wanted to do something special for George Washington to make him feel better after his failed blind dates. Now, there is a very important detail in the story. Uncle Sam was at the time living with George Washington. Now you might be asking, why was Uncle Sam living with George Washington? Well, Uncle Sam was employed. He was borderline unhirable. Uh, he used to live with his son who was taking care of him, uh, his son being George Washington's brother. But his son ended up getting mauled by a bear and then a bunch of Indians lit his house on fire. So. So Uncle Sam was left with nowhere to go, so George Washington was forced to take him in. Back to the story. Uncle Sam wanted to do something special for George Washington for his birthday. Well, uh, Uncle Sam had forgotten George Washington's birthday, which had taken place actually a week ago. So feeling terrible, Uncle Sam wanted to celebrate something equally special to George Washington. George Washington had just created a brand new country called the United States of America. He created it on the 4th of July. So Uncle Sam saw the 4th of July coming up and he wanted to do something special to, do, to, to celebrate the country's birthday in George Washington's honor. 
So, in order to do this special celebration, Uncle Sam uh, actually went out and got drunk with his close family friend, Fu Man Chu. They got crazy drunk together, and Uncle Sam ended up spending every penny of George Washington's life savings on a explosive amount of fireworks. Explosive bamboo, bamboo. Now, Uncle Sam was tactical. He wanted the moment to be right. He waited till the 4th of July. He didn't have the patience to wait till the night. Actually, he, he uh, as soon as the 4th of July hit, Uncle Sam just went ahead and lit the fireworks first thing in the morning. And George Washington was awakened by his sleep with no savings account anymore to see these fireworks going off in his backyard, which caught his house on fire, by the way. And George Washington was filled with a lot of emotions. Mostly disappointment, though. And, uh... The next day, George Washington was over it. He just decided to drop out of the current election was going that was going on. And that is actually why our United States presidents can only serve two terms and not three. Boom. Fun historical fact. And then George Washington went on to retire and then die. You're goddamn right. And remember, folks, you can always subscribe to become one of my students of learning. I'll teach you all about history and stuff, but I'll mostly just talk about video games. Um, also, uh, I, I made everything in this video up. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone, this old man can roll it. Give a dog a bone, this old 